All right, here we go. It's taken me about an hour and a half to get it going at 6.8. It's being a bit weird. But anyway, only a second session on liquid nitrogen. Running at 6.8 gigahertz, gigabyte Z90, Z590. Board, six gigahertz Encore, very rough. 4533 RAM C14. That's the setup. So the current world record is with a 10900K running close to 7.5 gigahertz. And we are just about matching that efficiency with only 6.8. And this is also with Windows 10. So, and not really tweaked. So the RAM timings aren't really tweaked. Only primary timings were set as well. So lots more in it, but how amazing is this new CPU? It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is on par to beat the world record. I'm not planning to, you know, make a fuss of it or anything, just put it on Facebook, but just want to share the excitement. It's been so many years since we've had a proper IPC gain, an Intel platform, and this thing is just insane. Basically, you can beat a world record with 700 megahertz less on the CPU and properly tuned, probably even eight or 900 megahertz on CPU. Absolutely insane. Move the mouse a little to see if I'm still running. Yeah, still running. Exciting stuff. Are we gonna see the first sub three minute run? I don't know. It'll be close. I mean, sub four minute run, I should say. I'm using the uh, Kingpin T-Rex and um, it's running full pot, obviously. Uh, mine's 187 degrees using some Galax memory. This is single sided Samsung B die memory. Here we go. The moment of truth. Where are we at? Yep, and this is the world record that the, the Comet Lake world record was four minutes, one point something seven, I think, seconds. So this is just beating it by over a second. How good is that?